Hello, my name is Joseph Aonongia. I am 15 years old, a boxer that's been doing it for 10 years and also a college student. Hi, I'm Bob Odekirk. I'm the mayor of the city of Joliet. What really brings you to the dinner table? So what, <laughs> what would be your favorite food? You know, um, I was overseas for almost two years. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's strange this thing that you miss. Um, but if, if it was one, I guess one meal, it'd probably be a good uh, slab of barbecue ribs. Um, wow. th that'll get me to the table every time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was weird when you're out of the country um, and, and you, you can't eat the, the things that you miss or that other people don't realize. But pizza, definitely was on the list, Chicago pizza mm -hmm. and Italian beef sandwiches. But I think the number one dish would be barbecue, barbecue ribs. What is your favorite type of food? I would say my favorite food would be pancakes. I could eat that for lunch, dinner, breakfast, all day, every day. But personally, I find myself eating pancakes maybe four times a week. <laughs> I try to keep it low, but it's hard. <laughs> and uh, I guess for pancakes or whatever, who's the best cook in the house? I'm gonna get you in trouble now. Okay, so best cook, I would have to give it to my dad's the one that cooks the most, but I would say more basic stuff. My mom is the better cook, like like more normal stuff. But my dad, he's always having something new he wants to make, so. So if you had a fight scheduled for next week and you had to lose three or four pounds, what would you do in the next few days to, to get yourself down to weight? So first I'll have to start cutting down on those pancakes, but then, <laughs> Uh, next, I'll go ahead and find some time during the week when I'm not doing sparring or when I could come in early in the morning, get in some running, try to lose. I could probably lose about like three pounds in one day. So just get that running done and then try to keep a steady calorie count and make sure that my weight stays down. And then if you were fighting like on a, on a Saturday morning, when did they weigh in? The night before, the morning of the fight? Uh, most of the time for all of the fights that are amateur, the weigh-ins occur early in the morning before the fight. Do you eat or drink anything specific be between then and the fight? So when I'm at nationals and I'm fighting, I would say I don't eat anything prior to weighing in because if even if you're like 0.2 ounces over, you're disqualified. So I always make sure I don't eat anything. Then after I weigh in, we weigh in at around like, I would say 6 a.m. And then after that, I go to maybe a Denny's or IHOP. Then I go ahead, get my pancakes, <laughs> steak, hash browns, eggs, everything. That'll be my one meal. And then uh, find like some salads or stuff to eat later on nice. in the day for the next time. Yeah, I, I wasn't born here. Um, it's probably unusual for a Joliet mayor, but um, in 1993, I got hired as a Joliet police officer. I was, I was in Oak Forest in the south suburbs, and I had applied to a number of different police off agencies, and Joliet was the first one to hire me. So I came out in 1993, I worked there for 10 years. The last four, I went to law school um, at night, so I worked, I worked the afternoon shift, but I, I, I even my days off, or taking classes in the morning or whatever, I was able to, to, to get a law degree in four years. So um, yeah, that's why I came to Joliet, I got hired as a police officer. And we had a residency requirement, so I had to move into the city. After I left the police department, I was a prosecutor for the city of Chicago. I had to move back into Chicago, but then ultimately um, I did decide to come back to Joliet. Besides you know, being elected official, I, I moved back here and I was living here when I decided to run for the city council. And you're 16, right, Jojo? 15. 15. And, and can you tell us, I know you've achieved a lot academically. Mm -hmm. Could you list what, what you've done at the age of 15? So at 15 right now, I'm going ahead and getting my associate's degree from JJC. And I want to pursue nursing. So that's just one of the goals that I have. And I want to get this done with early. By 18, I won't have to go ahead and do any more schoolwork so I can focus on boxing fully for a little bit. And JJC, you meant Joliet Junior College, correct? Yes, sir. At 15 years old. Yep. It's impressive. You talked about pursuing a nursing career. What, what motivated you or what's the reason that, that you want to do that? Uh, for nursing, I would say it's because my mother is also a nurse. She could be a good mentor in that field. And then also I love the ability to help other people out and I would be able to check on my own body as well as time goes on. Do you, um, have you and your dad talked about turning pro and when you would do that? Uh, we're thinking about around the age of 18 and then from there maybe 
try to see as many fights as little as little fights as we possibly can before I could go ahead and fight for a world title. Okay, and if you talk to any promoters, people that we would know, are, are, are people looking to try to sign you up? Uh, I would say there has been a, a multiple promoters that have come to my dad, and I don't really get too much into it yet, but we're planning on keeping it, uh, keeping me a little bit closed until I get that age. Well, you know, as a young policeman, there, there were some of the older officers um, and some of your training officers you, you definitely looked up to, and they taught you a lot. But um, I think by far, the, you know, for me, the, the people who taught me the most were my mom and my dad. I had great parents. Um, you know, my dad worked, or four of us, four kids. My mom stayed at home, but, you know, family was always first. And there's no question that, the, you know, the, the values that, that you're taught as a, as a child, you know, will, will blossom during your life. So, um, without my, as, you know, both my mom and my dad. My dad was pretty hard on us, and there's no question I deserved it. <laughs> So I, I, I know I would never have achieved the things I've been able to achieve if my parents weren't the way they were. They, they were terrific. Now, you, you talked about your dad. Obviously, I've met you through your dad, but can you tell us the role that he's played, obviously, as your mentor, get involved in boxing, but what, how big of, a, of an influence has your dad been on you? So the influence for boxing, that was at a 100% because he was, uh, brought to America from Don King. He was an ex-professional pro boxer, so he's been there, been through all of the stuff that I've been through, and he's just the one that's going to be helping me get to the point where I want to be with boxing. So he's there with me all, all throughout the week, working with me, doing every activity that he can also, like with pads, and we're all training together to reach the goal. Are there other young guys like you that, that also being trained by your dad? Uh, right now, it's just me and my dad, but we're planning on getting a gym soon so that we can open up and give uh, accessibility to boxing and other people to reach the goals that they want to as well. Well, there's, there's a lot of people that get involved, a lot of good friends. Um, first, to, to run the campaign, to get through the campaign, and then once you get elected, um, again, a lot of people that you rely on, a lot of staff at City Hall, the city managers or other people in the council. If, if I just had to narrow it down to one person, though, I would definitely say my wife, um, I owe a lot to. Um, she's, you know, it's a lot going through a campaign, going, being, being an elected official. Certainly some of the things that happened in the last few years have been very tumultuous. There's a lot of um, uh, people angry, not just in Joliet, just in general. So, uh, but she's always been there. She's terrific, a great, um, someone, a great person, you could, like a sounding board. If I you know, have an idea or, or not, I really rely on her opinion and respect it a lot. And she's, she's been a very strong presence. Joseph, you say your dad was from Africa. I believe he's from Ghana, is mm -hmm. that correct? Did you ever have a chance to visit Africa? Yeah, I recently visit, visited Africa this year. And uh, it was a great, a great time going to Ghana. I was able to see a lot of different things that's different from America. Uh, I was able to live in a whole different uh, world. but. Ghana, it's, they're very lovable. They, all the people seem to like me a lot, and uh, I was really able to branch out and meet new people, so it was a great time. Do you have family that's still back in Ghana? Yes, I do. And were you able to see all your family? Yep. And what, what did that mean to you, to be able to go back to your roots and, 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 and meet relatives? Yeah, that meant a lot, because going there, I was able to see so many people that also supported me for my goals. It was amazing to see so many people come. I saw a lot of people come to the airport. When I first got there, hundreds of people were there waiting, chanting my name, it was amazing. But being able to see family, family as well and see my dad connect with them, it was a different experience that I loved. Again, I think Samino's Pizza is terrific, Aurelio's is, is terrific. It's a lot of good establishments. I will say this, um, if you like Mexican food, you can't go wrong in Joliet. There's probably about 15 or 20 really, really good Mexican restaurants. It's just whatever you have a taste for. But um, there's a lot in our city. I cut 158, um, the steakhouse that, that recently opened downtown is really, really doing well. It's a first class dinner. It's like being in a downtown Chicago steakhouse. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're looking for in our city, you're gonna yeah. find it's big enough, there's a variety to find something good for, for whatever you're looking for. Your dad obviously trains you. He's in the corner with you. Mm -hmm. um, 
how would you describe the interaction that you have with your dad? Is it got to be a level of trust between you and whoever's giving you advice in the corner, right? Yeah, so I would say it's 50-50. My dad, uh, during the times of uh, training, when it comes to national time, he's 100% boxing. Everything needs to be completed on time. Everything, I need to make sure I reach all the different objectives that I need to before going to that event because you never want anything to happen that deters you from your goals. So, but then before that, uh, the 50-50, 50% is also on uh, making sure my schoolwork is also completed. So he's always pushing me to complete my uh, classwork and I do. So in the ring, um, in between rounds, obviously your dad was a pro fighter. Does mm -hmm. he see things that you don't see? Does he give you tips that maybe you didn't realize until he tells you? Most of the time when he's in the corner, he's a different human because it's just, I feel like it's just him like his, uh, maybe nervousness or just energy is all there, but it's just a lot of yelling. And before, after the fight, he's uh, sweating more than me. So <laughs> it's always a sight to see. But w during the fight, he's always giving me pointers in the corner, uh, making sure that I get some more punches off that I didn't see. I find myself uh, to be supported by a lot of people here in Joliet. Uh, some of those people are Hawk Joliet, Alex from Super Mikado, and the person that runs this gym. But how you have helped me, it's been a great help. And um, With you, I think it's a great example of something great that's happened in Joliet. And I love um, being in a position where I can help get that out, let people know, you know you're a fine athlete, obviously, but you're also a fine young man. And what, you, what you've been able to do, what you're going to accomplish, and what, you're go what you will accomplish moving forward. I think it's a great story for the city of Joliet. So I think as mayor, um, that's part of my job, is to, you know, kind of be a PR person for the city or at least be the face of the city. But to, to the point of what I'd like to change, um, just some of the negativity that, that is always, and I don't think it's, it's necessarily just Joliet. I hear this from elected officials and other mayors, but um, certainly like the last four years or so, it just seems like there's been a whole lot of negativity um, at city council meetings, when we go out in the public, a lot of people are angry about a lot of different things and a lot of it I think stems back to the pandemic. So that's one thing I'd like to change. I wish things and people would be a little bit more positive about what's going on within their own city or supporting their own city a little bit more than I see sometimes. But um, again, it's just it's my own personal complaint. I don't, I don't think it's a major problem, but it's something that I, I see. You know, when you're in the ring I, or, or coming into a fight, obviously you're already nervous and you're fighting in front of other people. What do you do to control your nerves, to control any fear that you have? to stay focused on what you have to do. What, I, and what would your tip be to other people about how to control those emotions? So before, uh, when I get into the ring, I always think about all the people that have supported me and who brought me to this position. So I, when I get into that ring, I make sure to take all those emotions and use it to win that fight. But uh, most of the time, when you get into that ring, all the adrenaline rushes and like even if you have a pain in your arm or something, you don't even feel it anymore. So it all goes away and most of the time you get into a zone where you're focused into making sure you win the fight. So I always make sure to think about the people who have supported me and it really takes me out of those fear moments and I've never really encountered too many of those. Thank you for watching me and the mayor here talk about different things that's been happening in Joliet and some little facts about ourselves. So I hope you had a good time watching and thank you to all of the supporters. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity to promote this fine young man and all the, the, the great things he's doing and going to accomplish. And of course, uh, the, you know, to promote the great city of Joliet. So thank you.